Um, both of you have spoken about the opioid epidemic uh, or the drug epidemic in general. In the state. Do either of you have a solution for this issue if you get elected? Question is, is do either of our candidates have a solution for the drug or opioid epidemic situation? A couple of things. Again, education. The Just Say No program worked pretty well. We were able to cut youth smoking by a lot. Again, teach kids these are not bad people, but they've made bad choices. Role playing. Situations where you can find yourself to be maybe get involved with drugs. I'm not a, I think showing before and after pictures, methamphetamine patients in high school, that's kind of a scary thing, but if you look at someone who is wasted, who has sores all over them and has lost their teeth, those very unfortunate individuals, that's gonna make an impression. Also, I think we as physicians can do a better job of finding alternative ways to relieve pain. And we can do that. There's protocols written for surgery patients. There are alternatives such as chiropractic, massage, lots of things we can do. And I do agree with medical marijuana. And again, I do appreciate the first responders and all the lives that they have saved with rapid response and Narcan. It's made a big difference in our community. Yeah, so the, the question was, you know, how do we address the opioid pro uh, problem? Uh, and I think there's a, it's a multifaceted problem and it's going to take a multifaceted approach. Um, one of the reasons I decided I did want to run for state representative is because the state of Indiana has made some, taken some steps um, when it comes to opioids and Narcan and rapid response and that sort of thing. And I think that maybe in the um, pursuit of those things, th th there could have been um, a little bit more perspective from folks of, like me who are dealing with this on the ground in people's living rooms. Um, getting Narcan out to everybody uh, who, who can rapidly deploy that and reverse an overdose is a great thing because we're saving, we're saving lives or prolonging lives to get real treatment. However, we're not collecting the data um, more efficiently enough uh, to know where our hotspots are, where our patterns are, and how we can you know, use that data to, to then further uh, crack down on, on any type of in law enforcement. Um, we also, I agree with my opponent, we also need to work on early intervention. We need to be in front of schools, in front of students in their schools, uh, telling stories that you know, we see on the ambulance, telling stories about people who went into recovery and made it, telling stories about people who went into recovery and didn't. Uh, those are hard things that need to be talked about, and I think that's just one step in, in getting all of this done.